Last year in September, we started the college course. None of us were sort of in bands because we were in bands the previous year that sort of like split up. So Ash came to me and said, do you want to be in a band with me? You know, do some stuff. I was like, yeah, all right. And then we were, we were saying we need a singer, maybe a bass player, another guitarist or something. We asked James if he wanted to sing. And then you basically said, Joe, come. Didn't you? I was in a band previously with, with James. Yeah, right. and, I was like, and I was like, are you two looking for a band? And they were like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's a good old Joe here. Where is he? Yeah. I was in a, uh, another band with about two years ago. One year ago? It's, it's hard to put a time frame on it because the band just never took off. So it didn't really. It was a... We couldn't really do anything with it. So it's probably. It, I was in that band for about two years. But we never did anything. We never played no. a gig because we never had a full lineup. The good thing about the other members is that we're all different in our musical tastes when we bring it into writing. So like Ash primarily listens to pop punk music. Mm -hmm. So he has a lot of Travis Barker influence beats when on top of that we got a lot of like bluesy influence on the guitar coming from Joe. And then James is quite like moody, I'd say dark vocals on top of like me and Joe who were quite metally in our playing. So it kind of just works together sort of. in a mix and yeah. pot and somehow makes <laughs> alright music. <laughs> it's, it's a we need to write a song type of thing and then it's a good maybe couple of days at max of just going through riffs and... Basically Joe, Joe writes a riff. Or no, sometimes I like come up with something. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's always a back and forth, like, oh, I got this, and then we'll work on it, and then they'll be like, this is actually quite shit, then go to something else. It's like, ah, oh, it might work, and we'll get like half a song wrote, and then we realize that vocals wouldn't fit it right, and then it's, it's a lot of um, give and take and just dropping things off the cuff. But then as soon as you know you've got some up, that works. We like, write when we don't try, don't we? Yeah, but uh, uh, recently, our uh, songs that we've got, the last songs we've wrote, I sort of just like Not really people come people. with Joe noodling yeah. and then I'd like come up with like a little thing over the top so oh that actually works maybe if I do that and then add it into power chords or whatever that could be a chorus and then it's sort of when the song like rolls like that a lot easier you can get it done within an hour or two yeah. and then from the wreckage that like we wrote that in like one rehearsal session yeah in one and rehearsal it's like a session. proper like it's quite a tricky song as well isn't it? yeah, so, yeah. yeah. And then as soon as James then comes in with usually pre-written lyrics that you'll yeah. really like jig around to yeah. fit within the mentality of the song, uh, it usually fits quite well. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm Joe. I play bass in Dust It Out. Um, I haven't really been with them that long, but yeah, I just kind of started Played music a few years ago, quite enjoyed it. Started joining a couple, joining a few bands. I've been in a few in the past. Well, my dad's really kind of into like eighties music. He's really into the kind of old punk scene. Uh, he's really into kind of like modern classic stuff like The Doors and uh, like bands like that. So I've always kind of had mu a musical upbringing. Um, and I, I just one one year, my older brother started learning guitar. So naturally, I wanted to learn something as well. So I started learning. Uh, bass and I do play drums as well um, and I've just kind of went around gigs and thinking I want to do that so I kind of got into playing music but I've just I've always been into music as a person really. I can see it's kind of like that I mean I've I haven't been in the band as long as everyone else so I kind of I kind of came in and we're gonna say we'll say halfway through but um, with regards to that so I've, ha I've had the outside perspective which I don't think they've done and I can actually see it going fairly far I mean we just need to act. I think the, the problem is is we just don't get stuff done and I think if we actually knuckle down and did stuff we'd be we'd be absolutely fine we'd be able to soar on um, but I think that's just the problem is that they're very hard to control but as I say I'm not, I'm not gonna say that I do anything to stop it <laughs> I'd, I'd probably see it more as a hobby than a career but that's that's just because um, I probably don't take myself as seriously, <laughs> so um, you could probably say that way. But uh, if, it, if, it, if it offers a career, I'll definitely take it. I'll jump at the opportunity. But I'll be quite honest. I mean, it, it, I'd say career hobby is probably more of a hobby.
my name's Sam. I play guitar in Dust It Out. Um, been playing for about seven years now. Yeah. Um, I always liked like guitar oriented music. Like my dad always liked listen to Led Zeppelin, Jimi Hendrix, old school type of stuff when I was younger. I sort of maybe I preferred that when I was younger to like whatever's in the charts and I just sort of grew onto it and wanted to learn guitar and then found other sort of genres to like love and stuff. Um I know I outside of performing or anything I do a lot of time just playing guitar I when I'm at home I just usually just have my guitar out and just noodling kind of like riff ideas or stuff um, like, like obviously got a job and things like that and other commitments but majority just play guitar when I can it can go south very fast and we all hate each other but I doubt it very much because we all get along quite well. I feel we'll just continue growing and just carry on enjoying it at the same time because I think that's what's missing from a lot of bands is that you they grow get like some success but they all just hate each other. I feel we don't and we won't. We know people that really like our stuff. You know, we've had complete strangers come up to us and be like your band's like one of the best things I've heard in like years and, and things like that. So we know it's out there. We just gotta push it and get it. And if I could consume the sky, I'd soon. I'm Joe. Um, I was the first Joe in Dust It Out, uh, and I play guitar. Um, I've loved music since well as long as I can remember. I've always like listen to it in the car and everything um, and someone just said you should start playing guitar uh, so I decided to just give it a go. Outside of the band, um, aside from college I work on a farm and I sort of just do like odd jobs around the local area for people. Yeah. I don't really know, it's like such a new band it's hard to see us sort of Hard to see our future. Um, I think if we can get EP out there, uh, we can just sort of get on, write some more, and then do it again. Um, personally, if the band doesn't work out, uh, I'm going to try and get into maybe teaching guitar um, and probably more session work, probably join some more bands. Um, I started playing piano first because uh, they said it'd be easier to learn guitar. And then um, I started playing guitar when I was 12, so I've um, been playing for what, six years, so, but I just, I love it, so. Um, my name is James Adams and I'm the vocalist for Dust and Arts. And when I was told I have a decent tone to my singing voice, I realised it was a good way to express myself in a more subtle and productive way. At the moment I'm just job seeking but I'm learning guitar at the moment. I was, ho I was hoping at some point I'd be able to do solo stuff. Um, but yeah at the moment I just enjoy going out with friends and nights out. Who is the funniest from the sh most stupid things they do? And I'd say that's got to be Ash from stuff he says. Well, just from my overall Negativity, just me being natural. I'd say straight to the ground, but um, I don't. I don't really know. I, I'd imagine it just be more so of a hobby rather than something, um, something full time that we're hoping for. But yeah, I don't. I, I don't expect us to go that far. I just expect it to kind of stay as a hobby. I'm Ash. Um, I'm 20. I play the drums for Dusted Out. Um, when I was about four, my mum bought me a little plastic rubbish drum kit from Argos. And I've just always done it since then, really. And it's, yeah, that made me want to do it. <laughs> I, I don't know, like, I just want to really like just get bigger gigs at the minute. I don't, I don't want to you know, go too mad at the minute, but hopefully, like, maybe in the future get signed, you know, maybe play like a festival. 
That's what I think. That's what like, our goal, to be fair. Maybe maybe, maybe go on like a tour, like a small tour around England. I guess sometimes our writing can be a bit slow or just doesn't happen. Like we've 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 stuck to the same set for a while now. But mainly, but I I think that's because we keep getting gigs and we don't really have enough time to keep writing in between. I guess we do have enough time, but we're not that amazing at that yet. But yeah. But I don't, like all of us are pretty confident about about this band anyway. Like I've been in previous bands and you know they've not really worked, but like, we we've been together for a while. 